Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. Make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Network and I have a story that's coming from Awful Arizona, okay? So we've had a few stories over the years from Awful Arizona, but this one definitely takes the cake. So what's going down is this, we have an 11 year old child, his grandparents had custody of him, okay? He lived with his grandmother and his grandfather. The grandmother had been telling him all day, clean your room, your room's a mess, clean your bedroom, clean your room. Maybe she was getting on his nerves, maybe she was nagging too much, but I don't give a damn, okay? Because the grandmother was the one putting a roof over his damn head, okay? So instead of him doing the right thing and cleaning his damn room, he proceeds to get his grandfather's gun. He creeps up on the grandmother and the grandfather as they're on the couch watching television, okay? He puts the gun to the grandmother's head and blows her brains out, then proceeds to run into his room. The grandfather goes running after him. He locks his bedroom door and then he kills himself. This entire situation is just disturbing. I don't know what is going on with the youth nowadays. Of course, it's not all of y'all, so don't, you know, don't, don't take offense. But I just don't understand what's going on with some of these kids nowadays that you can't tell them nothing without them resorting to violence. This is getting really fucking scary, you guys. Anyways, go ahead and watch the news clip, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. It was a tough day for 6th, 7th, and 8th graders at Western Sky Middle School in Litchfield Park. Extra grief counselors were available for students who learned about the death of one of their classmates. MCSO says the 11-year-old boy shot his grandmother in the back of the head with his grandpa's gun and then committed suicide. David Juarez has a grandson who goes here but hasn't had a chance to talk to him about it yet. I want to know how he feels about it and, and what the other kids feel about it, his age. Yeah, so I'm, I'm interested to know how, they, how they're processing it. I'd like them to understand what's going on. As grandparents, parents, we need to help them through that. David doesn't know the family, but wants them to know the community is thinking of them. His heart especially goes out to the grandfather who saw it all happen. I, I can't even put himself, myself into his place right now. My wife and I, we saw the news together and we were both shocked. We just, it was, it was terrible news. MCSO says the boy's grandparents repeatedly told him to clean his room throughout the day, but didn't show any signs that he could possibly hurt himself or someone else. Detectives tell us the couple had sole custody of the 11-year-old boy. All right, you guys just saw that news clip. Like I said, all I can do is sigh at this point, okay? You know, you have a small child here who is 11 years old. He's just now going into, what, the sixth grade? He's in junior high. And he kills his grandmother because she asked him to clean his bedroom. And these are the same people who are caring for him, who are feeding him, who are clothing him. So much so that neither his mother or biological father are in his life. So you have nobody else besides your grandparents, and this is how you repay them back? By putting a bullet in your grandmother's brain? I mean, this is some really just sick stuff, and the fact that he then turned around and killed himself. So, you know, it just makes me think, what was this kid going through? You know, was this house as, as pristine as they're trying to make it seem? You know, a lot of people are even saying that maybe the police need to investigate the grandfather and make sure that the grandfather didn't set this up or have this child do this. I don't know, that's a whole nother can of worms, but I wonder what was going on in this household that this kid just snapped like that and felt the need to kill his grandmother over the fact that she was telling him to clean his bedroom. That is not a normal response whatsoever. And then the fact that he also killed himself is just even more disturbing as well, especially given his age of him being 11 years old. I am really glad to hear that the school that the young boy went to, they're providing children with grief counselors because they're definitely gonna need it. This is not normal at all. This is not an okay response. I would definitely suggest talking to your children and you know, just trying to get to see what the hell's inside their heads because it seems like a lot of these kids are just wilding out. I don't know if it's the damn music. I don't know if it's the damn video games. You know, I just don't know what's going on, but it seems like there's more and more youth that are responding to just, you know, the most basic shit, which is horrible violence. You know, a few years ago, we had the one boy who killed his parents because they told him to get off the Xbox. We had another young man who killed his parents because they wouldn't let him have a party. You know, so it's just really insane how many stories like this just keep happening. And now it's starting to be more and more frequent. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts about this disturbing situation coming from awful Arizona. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces. Nikki!
Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.